Hi guys, it's Abigail Kloss here. Welcome back to another video. Here we're going to be reviewing the very hyped up Chamberlain Coffee. Murphy, what do you need? What do you need, sir? We're going to be reviewing the Chamberlain Coffee and also exclusive, I'll be giving you my secret iced coffee recipe. So stay tuned for more. I do a whole breakdown of my favorite coffees and recipes. But make sure you like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Thanks for coming along, and let's get into the tea. Good morning, everyone. Day one of Chamberlain Coffee. Today, we are trying the Night Owl. It's three out of five coffee beans of caffeine strength, which I'm going to need it. It says it's... Creamy and rich. We'll see about that one. Here we go. First test. It's really good. It's more bitter. I'd say if you're into more flavors. This just kind of tastes like a normal coffee. Just a little bit more bitter. I don't know. Something like that. We'll see where this ranks. This isn't the best cup of coffee I've ever had, but this definitely isn't the worst. I would say solid I would give it a solid like six out of ten anyways I'm gonna go back to working for bed hello good morning everybody part two coffee number two we had the social dog so here we go this is gonna be our first sip test I'm lying I've already had a cup but okay okay I definitely like this one better than the Night Owl was the first one, I believe. I like this one better. I think I gave the Night Owl a six. I think I'll give this one an eight. Ian, any thoughts? Do you like this one better? I do. This one's good. It's kind of like smoother. Like I thought the Night Owl one was like a little bit too bitter. A little bit too much. So this one we're going to give an eight. This is smoother, less bitter. Still has more caffeine though. I like that. This is four out of five caffeine beans. Hello guys, coffee number trace. That means three if you don't know. And this is the early bird blend. So this is the most caffeine. We've got five beans of caffeine here. Um, and this one's supposed to be lighter, brighter, and sweeter. We'll see about that one. So now we got it cooled to the perfect temperature. So let's see here. Yeah, it's definitely, I do agree with the lighter, not as like of a heavier roast, but it's kind of crazy that it's so light but has the most caffeine out of any of her blends. Um, but it definitely, it tastes like a normal coffee, but lighter. So if you're not the biggest, like, loving the coffee taste, you'd probably like this one. But, what was I going to say? But you got to be careful with the caffeine levels here because I'm a little worried I'm gonna like rocket ship. But yeah, what do you, Ian, what do you think, Murph? What do you think? What do you think about this one? Ian, any thoughts? I'm a little bit more of a darker bean uh, yeah. coffee drinker. What would you but rate? But this one's still good. What would you rate it out of 10? A six. See, I think, I think this one might be a seven for me. Cheers, ladies and gents. Enjoy your coffee. I'll hit you with the next one. Good morning. Another day, another cup of joe. Am I right? But today, going to the original blends. This is um, also known as the original family blend. Um, I really like the graphics on this one. This is four beans of caffeine strength out of five. And this one's more of a medium roast, smooth, and rich. So we'll see about that one. So this was the one with her first launch with the steep bags. That's this coffee. It's just so we're all on the same page. So cheers. Let's see. This is really good. I feel like this is like the most typical cup of standard coffee. Like I don't. It's very smooth, it's medium, like it's just a normal coffee. It kind of reminds me of, most, kind of reminds me of Pike Place a little bit. Um, compared to, I remember I said like that first one, like was 
that first one was like coffee but more bitter, while this one is just tastes like a standard cup of coffee. Ian, do you agree? I agree with that, yeah. What would you rate it? I would rate this a 7.5. 7. 7.5. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it's just standard, though, so it's nothing like wowza. So, yeah, I would maybe give it a 7.5. I might, yeah, a 7 to 8 range. I got to think about my final score. It's still a little early, but that 7 to 8 range, no higher than 8, no lower than 7. But depending on what decimal I want to give, but cool. And then we got, do we have one more to go, or am I done? One more. One more? Is that the bird? No, no, it's the cat one. Okay. One more. We'll see you then. Ta-ta. Stop it. Welcome to my home office. But here we are, final day. We have the careless cat. I forgot the bag. Our last and final brew, as some would say. Careless cat. We got, this is a medium roast, smooth and warm. This is two and a half caffeine strength, and that's kind of why I put this to the last, because I like maximum caffeine, but that's a personal preference. Um, so here I go, whole big cup of joe. Let's see. So this one actually tastes very, very good. It's very smooth. It's like a normal cup of coffee, just to take a very typical cup of coffee, but smooth, yeah, like it says smoother and warmer. Like I agree with both of those statements, um, comparatively to like a normal cup of joe. Honestly, this one tastes like an eight to a nine, maybe like an eight and a half. But that caffeine strength though, it's just not great. Um, so taste, I would give it nine, the caffeine of being a two and a half, I only can give it a two and a half. Um, no, I gotta think about what my final rating would be. Because maybe it's good for me not to have five caffeine beans all the time, you know? So, but this tastes very good. Tastes, I, I would probably give it an eight and a half, nine range. So, delicious. Ian, thoughts? I do like the taste. I, I think it's a good definitely a good cup of coffee it's very smooth and we're not cat people either so this is no biased we're dog people so okay jury's out on that we will give final totals totalings and then also i've been meaning to give you my iced coffee recipe so we'll do iced coffee recipe today and our totals and our final final juric verdict if you should buy chamberlain coffee or Hello everybody. We're going to make the iced coffee now. I'm going to show you how I do it. First, you're going to take a jar. Ooh, I have a Chamberlain. We'll use this Chamberlain coffee. Okay, let me get ice in it. So what will happen is I'll put too much coffee in here and then I can't drink it all because I'll just fill it up like 50 times. Um, sorry, I'm like anxious about work right now and I'm like tweaking. Um, so I'm going to take over this leftover coffee that's been sitting forever and pour it over the ice. Okay, cool. Like so. And then I normally have the other cold brew. I might put a few more ice cubes in here. Ice. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is use this coffee cup I used and put... Okay, here are my ingredients. I like using the Walmart brand premier protein because it's cheaper heavy whipping cream um, again walmart brand and then this is sugar free whatever you call it um and i use that because oh oh my god now you're gonna think i fake did that to be quirky on the internet but really i'm just an idiot and moving too fast here we go wipe it do wipe it all off okay so I'm going to take some heavy whipping cream and I just kind of put a little bit. I have no measurements for you and I will not measure so there, those will not be existent. And then I'm going to take some of this Premier Protein. So I just did a dash of that. This is kind of what you want your meat to be. So I put a little bit more of that in there. Excellent. And then I just, the like smallest hair. Well, that 
probably too much, whatever. I don't like things being too sweet. Now we're gonna take this guy from Amazon and we're gonna froth her up. I will show you. Oh my. So now, here's what we're gonna do. Bam! Bam, baby! Oh yeah, let's get over to this background. Oh yeah, ooh, ooh, coffee. Look at that outlet, don't mind her. Ooh. Ooh, smile for the camera. Beautiful. And then this thing comes with a lid, so we're gonna lid it. Oh, look at it, she's, oh no. Beautiful, so this is her. This is what I like to drink, and that's my recipe, and it's sort of healthy. The final ratings are in. We have a winner. We'll start with the worst. The worst cup for me, personally. And I will give my reasons why. So let's start at the bottom. The worst one for me is the Night Owl. The Night Owl, I gave a 6 out of 10, and I'm standing by that statement. It's not the worst cup of coffee I had, but it's definitely not the best cup of coffee I had. Um, will I repurchase? No, I think that there's other winners if I do feel the need to repurchase that I would buy instead. Next up, fourth place. I'm giving it to the early bird, which I'm a little upset about because it has the most caffeine. So I feel like that is the most bang for your buck. But the lighter roast was just not my jam. So if you are a lighter roast gal, a rocket ship up the booty hole kind of caffeine drinker that might be the roast for you but for me personally early bird can take the worm somewhere else third place this is tough to say because I may have had a passion for zoom to Murphy I may be a little biased and that's why I'm upset with my honest ranking. I wanted Social Dog to be number one, and I wanted dogs to reign free in the universe. But no, no. And being honest with myself, and the Social Dog is in third place, I gave it a score of eight. Early bird, I gave a seven, but probably too lenient on my score, so just don't disregard that. So I like the Social Dog, it is smoother but I don't think it is as good as other contenders here. Drum roll please for second place. Second place, we have the original blend. In my original video, I said a seven to an eight because basically I wanted the social dog to run home with this. But after looking back, I think I have to give original blend an eight and a half. Scoring. I love how smooth it is and it's extremely comparable to Starbucks Pipe Place, but don't worry, this cup of coffee I think costs more. So, what more would you want? It is a very, very good brew though. First place, have you figured it out yet? It's the careless dang cat. I hate cats and I came in with a bias wanting to not like this. First order of Emma Chamberlain. I did not get the careless cat because I thought cats were stupid. So this coffee must be stupid. I was sadly mistaken. That has been my favorite cup. The annoying thing is though, the caffeine strength. But I still got hyped up and jacked off of one cup. So mm -hmm. it is just very smooth and really enjoyable tasting. So my ones that I would repurchase are the Social Dog, Original Ben, and Careless Cat. And honestly, if Social Dog was named something else besides Dog, I probably wouldn't repurchase. So take that with a grain of salt. But her Original Ben and Careless Cat are delicious. So now let's talk delivery, pricing, ordering. 
Delivery, both times I've ordered, is taking more time to get to me than expected. Um, I don't care though, personally, but if that's a big draw for you, sorry. Price, so it's like $20 a bag or whatever, and you can get ground or whole bean, and I got ground because I don't have a grinder machine. Um, and to that I say, it is more expensive. I'll do some mathola and break it down per cup or whatever mathematical equation I feel like it's doing. But I feel that she does free trade and doing helping the environment and sustainable packaging and helping the earth is kind of her thing. And also you're obviously paying for the Chamberlain name. So I do think it's a fair price for what she is giving. It's a high quality bean yada yada so it's more if you like emma chamberlain or not um repurchasing i probably will and she's releasing a tumbler and i want to try that also she just released a decaf coffee um i don't have that nor am i a decaf fan i'm caffeine strength a thousand so i ha i don't have the sloth she literally made it a sloth like that's kind of rude um but yeah my recommendations, if you're a normal coffee-loving girl or boy, welcome. Uh, Careless Cat Original Blend. Those two pretty much jam. Um, unless you're into that bitter stuff, you can take Night Owl. If you like a lighter roast, Early Bird is your jam. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. The end. <laughs>